The most intriguing Monday night matchup this season takes place this week when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers host the Baltimore Ravens, a couple of offensive juggernauts. The I'm going to look at the total in this game, which is currently 49. And before I get to that, real friendly reminder, folks, that if uh, you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, take a second to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing. There's no strings attached. There's no hidden agenda. Just hit that subscribe button below, and uh, you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV. And while you're at it, go into your YouTube settings and click on your alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. Also, folks, there's a like button underneath. I would kindly hope, I kindly please ask that you. Um, Hit that like button. It's just a small token of appreciation for the work, time, and effort I put in to bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day and each and every week. All right, let's get to the game at hand. It's Tampa Bay and Baltimore. And, uh, again, this game will take place in Tampa Bay, 8.15 p.m. Eastern time kickoff on Monday night. It's part of a doubleheader on Monday night, which also includes the Arizona Cardinals taking on the L.A. Chargers, that game goes at 9 o'clock Eastern. This one we're going to discuss today, like I touched upon, at 8.15 p.m. Eastern time. The Baltimore Ravens have gone over the total in each of their last three games, and uh, there's been a combined 59.7 points scored per contest. Uh, the Ravens have scored 28 points or more in each of their last four games, and while doing so, they averaged – 471.8 yards of total offense per contest. Uh, that's getting it done offensively, folks. An explosive and red-hot Ravens offense right now. Uh, Tampa Bay, speaking of explosive offenses, is coming off a 51-27 win at New Orleans in their previous game. And in that game, they compiled 594 yards of total offense, which is an extremely high number. When by NFL standards, uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks have now gone three and zero to the over in their last three games, with a combined average of sixty four point three points scored per contest. Tampa Bay has also scored thirty points or more in each of their last three, and the Bucks in those three games averaged a combined five hundred and ten yards of total offense. Which again, over a three game period in the NFL is an extremely high number. Uh, anytime you have a home team like Tampa Bay with a total of 40 and a half to uh, 55 and a half, and they're coming off a game in which they scored 50 points or more and they're facing an opponent that's coming off a game in which they scored 28 points or more, that situation has occurred seven times since uh, 2012, and all seven of those games went over the total with a combined average of 55.7 points scored per game. That's an NFL betting angle there, folks. So it's just a rare situation where a team uh, is coming off a game and they scored 50 or more against a team um, that scored 28 or more with a total of 40.5 to 55.5. 7 and 0 to the over with a combined 55.7 points scored per game. I'm going to go Baltimore, Tampa Bay over the total of 49 on Monday night. Folks, my NFL premium picks have gone 7-2-1 and two and one over the last three Sundays, and a uh, good chance that you're going to be watching this video uh, before Sunday, so take advantage of that uh, at my uh, personal link, wt.buzz slash rb. That's wt.buzz slash rb. You'll see that link below. That's my direct link right at Wager Talk. Uh, also, my NFL college football picks combined, uh, they're 18 and 8 right now. So, uh, and that's since September 29th, I should say. 18 and 8 since September 29th. So, that's an awful good, uh, awful good record of late. So, I've been red hot with college football. I've been red hot with the NFL. Also, folks, if you see this in time, I will have a 5% best bet in the NFL on Sunday night in the game between the Jets and the Steelers. Uh, and uh, right now, folks, uh, my 5% best bets 
have gone 27 and 14, 66% since five, uh, since February 3rd of this year. That's 5% best bets in all sports. Let me clarify. 27 and 14 since February the 3rd, 66%. All right. I have a great weekend. Until the next time, uh, I'm Ross Benjamin. You're not. So take care and God bless, folks. <laughs>